and fuck me in the beard, Tony Ferguson versus Charles Oliveira. <laughs> fuck. Talk about you... similar styles, similar abilities, similar looking, similar looking. Dude, they they look the same. Yeah. If you were really looking at, dude, yeah. they look exactly the same. Minus some like a better haircut that. from Charles Oliveira. Oh, Tony's got the shaved head now. Like, yeah, his, hair well, his hair's gone, dude. He, he, he had the most Father widow's Tom peak you've ever far seen. Far enough, and then now he's like, oh, it's got to go. How dare you. Um, Tony Ferguson, look. You better come I, correct before you bring that fight up, dude. I won't tell yeah. you again. Uh, I won't tell you again. Anyway, that's going to be a cool fight. They both look the same. They both fight okay. pretty much the now, same. I got a little bit more insight on this. One more creative than the other. Let, let's talk about it a little bit more X and O's, right? If we have time. Tony was on a 12 fight win streak and he got paired up with Justin Gagey. I thought the UFC did him dirty the bird. dirtiest. They should have their mouths pissed Filth. in. We know this. So they gave him Justin Gagey after he'd been training for Khabib for fucking like three months. He, lo- he, he took a fucking hiding in that fight. And what most people are expecting is that Charles Oliveira coming off of, I think, a seven-fight win streak now with all the momentum against Tony. He was on a 12-fight win streak um, and then just got the, you know, the PS bitten out of him. Um, they probably think he's not the same guy. Uh, ooh, I disagree. I think Charles Oliveira has looked spectacular as of late, but the problem with him... <laughs> And the reason why he has those eight losses, he has some questionable losses against names who you would think now he would probably beat. But the reason why he would lose, I think back in the day, was nothing to do with his skill set or not being a better fighter. It was always mentally. He would break mentally. The last person who broke him mentally was Paul Felder because Charles Oliveira had Paul Felder uh, in a... He had his back for about four and a half minutes of the first round. He was looking for the guillotine. Mm-hmm. He was looking for all sorts of chokes and submissions on Paul Felder. And then Felder sort of slowly brought it back to the feet, got like got back into the fight, hit him with a few elbows, and then Charles Oliveira crumbled. And it's happened in the past where like he gets off to a good lead, he fights strategic. He, he's got all the tools. Charles' striking's never looked better. His submission, he has the most submissions in UFC history. He's got probably the most variety of submissions. Mm. He's a fucking beast. But skill set for skill set, you're not going to submit Tony. <laughs> you're probably not going to out like he might outstrike Tony technically. But I don't think you can keep up with the pace. We'll see, though, because like we Tony, see, cause Tony, Tony is, is the most weird. creative. He's so he, creative. He's weird. Good, good luck trying to. He's got a fucking crazy chin. Um, the thing is about Charles, and as I, said, I was going to point to, is that he mentally breaks. And if there's anybody who's going to mentally break you under a fight, the man. it's Tony Ferguson, good. man, because that guy will mentally break the best of the best. Um, and that's his style. And as he said, they match up. Like t- Charles Oliveira is not going to be a, able to use his ground game, which is his most effective tool, successfully against Tony. It's not going to work. Tony can do everything that he does on the ground, I think. They can transition. It'll be a fun scramble to see them hit the ground. The but most. I just don't think Charles is going to have an advantage there like he does against everyone else. And I think It's a on battle the feet, of hands yeah. going into this fight. On the it's going to be the said, hands. I think Tony will just walk forward. He'll probably get banged up a little bit, but I think he will mentally break Charles once Charles realizes he can't knock him out and he can't put him away. And I think I Tony's going to overwhelm him. I think you're going to see... This is a good matchup like, for Tony. I, it is. And I don't like this because I feel like you're going to fuck the trajectory of Charles Oliveira getting into that top five. You just picked the wrong opponent. Mm. You really did. You should have given Charles Oliveira RDA, in my opinion. Tony should have been he? fighting um, Michael Chandler and Charles Oliveira should have been fighting RDA. I, 